Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're good. I'm Thomas, this is Tech Productions, and you are watching episode 32 of Tech Tuesday. This week, I'm rebranding as Tech Unproductive. I get three very rare sets imported from America, and I become the worst kind of person, a panic buyer. Let's get some news. This is Tech News. Lego officially revealed the Ecto-1 this week. The hugely famous ghost-busting vehicle comes with 2,352 pieces and will cost £180 here in the UK. It looks good value for the money, but Ghostbusters wasn't something I was ever really into as a kid, so it's a hard pass for me. However, if you even remotely enjoy the films, I can see why this would be a must-buy. We got official images of two Chinese New Year sets. The Spring Lantern Festival looks like an awesome display of a Chinese park. I really love the ball with the light brick. The second, Story of Nyan, is less impressive, however the brick built Nyan is really cool. These sets are always popular and I'm sure these will be no different. I'd feel obliged to go back and get the other Chinese New Year sets if I bought these, so that's an expensive path I don't want to be walking down. Pieces and prices are yet to be confirmed for these sets. Staying in China, one of my favourite themes is getting another new set. Monkey Kid's Teen Quadcopter is the 11th set in the theme and one that I look forward to picking up next year. The quadcopter looks awesome and looks like it can pick up the crates from the Monkey Kid HQ. I'm dying for LEGO to release the rest of first season in English and then I'll be splashing some money on these sets for sure. The Nebulon B Frigate has been given an official release date. From the 14th of November, fans can pick up the MIDI scale build that was intended for this year's Comic Con. I was convinced up until about two minutes ago that I wouldn't try to get my hands on one of these, especially after the cost it took to get Bespin Jewel shipped from America. Stay tuned for that. But apparently I've changed my mind. Looks like it'll be an early morning for me waiting up trying to get my hands on at least one of these. Two packages to open on this week's Mail Monday. One that's uh, cost me a lot of money and come from America, and another one that didn't cost me barely anything and uh, I got it off eBay. So I'll open the eBay package first. And it is the last hidden sets that I need. It's Al Fuego's stunt truck. Uh, this is a really cool set. I think it retails for 35 and I got it off eBay sealed for. 15 or 16 pound I think it was so it's an absolutely banging deal uh, so happy to have that um, and yeah I kept saying last week that I've completed Hidden Side I've actually had this uh, to open for quite a, uh, quite a little while so I probably should have opened it last week when I was doing all the Halloween stuff but, um, but yeah so that's the last of the Hidden Side vehicles that I need um, I'm all done with that collection so that's going to be really cool I think I'll probably do a video once I've got them all built um, maybe do like my opinions on the sets my least favourite to most favourite kind of thing but yeah, this one, uh, this one looks like another cool set. And now I'll open the package from America. Okay, I've been really, really nervous to open this package because of how much it ended up costing me to get it shipped over here. Um, but actually, it's all been packed really well. Uh, there's two investment sets in here and one to build. Um, and it is the infamous... Oh, you're not going to be able to see it. <laughs> i got three best bin jewels, basically. I'll open these up and I'll show you guys. Do you know what? Because they're investment sets, I am going to keep those other two uh, wrapped up. But yeah, I managed to get three of these sent over uh, from America. A friend got them for me. And... Uh, yeah, it, it cost me a lot of money, so it's probably not going to be worth my while. I'm not going to be selling these two anytime soon. Um, I'm going to just sit on them for a few years, I think, at this point, so I can definitely try to get my money back, because, uh, yeah, it, it costs a lot more than it should have done, basically. Um, it got caught at customs as well, so it got an extra charge on, but I'm happy to have them, um, and I'm glad I've got one for myself. I can build a display. The Vader figure on this looks absolutely awesome, um, and I'm not going to be buying the Death Star 2 Final Jewel, so to get the printed arms Vader in this is going to be really nice, and yeah, it's just generally a cool display piece to have, and um, 
one of those sought after Lego Star Wars sets that's going to be really cool to have in my collection. So yeah, really happy to have that and uh, glad that they've come here and arrived in reasonably good or very, very good condition. So I've got Tech Tuesday to edit, I've got a vlog to edit, and Bricklicker's got me on the run for advent calendars as the UK are going into lockdown on Thursday and they seem to be selling out everywhere. So I really want to get at least one, maybe two, maybe three, it's stuck on eBay, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, off out I go, I've got a busy day. kind of person, a panic buyer, I had one left in Argos, so I was like, okay, we're not going to be able to get these anytime soon, I best pick it up. <laughs> Oops. On my way there now, um, I ended up picking up three of the Avent calendars off Asda, so not in the hunt for them, but just see what cool retired stuff they might have, maybe some minifigures, we'll see. Tuesday 31 is just a sporting from iMovie. Um, I've got a new border style thing for the thumbnails and for the uh, tech news and stuff, so that took a bit of time to doing. I'm um, announcing it today as well because it's her birthday, so we just had dinner with her, so that's up a lot of my time today. But I should have had this done at the weekend, but I was just dreaming so much, and yeah, so a very busy weekend, so I didn't get around to doing it. But um, yeah, that's exporting. Yeah, a bit touch and go whether it's a Tech Tuesday or if it's a Tech Tuesday on a Wednesday, but yeah, just as what it is, have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, got all that done, just got to do the thumbnail. Tech Tuesday on a really early Wednesday morning, unheard of, right? Yeah, so there's a little bit of leg coming out. It's taken for to upload from YouTube, it's still got two hours left, 57% done, so yeah, it's gonna be a little bit late, but uh. Yeah, not a lot I can do about it now. I've done a new thumbnail style. I've got new borders. They're like a lot thinner. Um, and they're the bricks with the studs showing on the side rather than sort of stacked up like my old ones. I think they look a little bit cleaner. Um, a little bit less intruding on the actual picture. It means I can get a bit more detail in the thumbnails. If you can kind of see that compared to something like that where it's a lot more set back. So yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So I'll probably stick with that. Stick with the colour theme so each uh, style of video or type of video has a theme, colour theme. Tech Tuesday in particular is dark blue, so yeah, I've got to work through. And uh, as I upload more videos in different categories and stuff, then I'll just upload the thumbnails, uh, update the thumbnails, and uh, yeah, so that's going up. Better late than ever, right? So I've come down to Southampton to go to the Lego store to pick up the Disney train because. I was hoping that it was going to go on discount on Black Friday, but now I'm really worried that I'm not going to be able to pick it up um, because of lockdown and all the shops closing. I was hoping to come into store on Black Friday, but that's obviously not going to happen now. So I get the train and then um, if it goes down in price and I can get it online, then I will. Um, and then I'll just return it after lockdown. But yeah, I just want to make sure I've got it and um, so I can use it for the Disney month. So yeah, let's find out where I am. The bat wing looks so sick. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to pick that up next year at some point. That is awesome. It's huge. That's insane. The shape is incredible. I can't wait till I build my Disney castle. That's gonna be such a sick build. I really wanna pick one up for an investment purpose, but 
that I really can't afford to learn at the moment and I'm thinking about buying a couple of other things to get that hand solo keychain because we've got that in stock so Star Faded Castle looking at you rushed back from the Lego store to be on a stream with Solo, the midweek stream, so that was a lot of fun and uh, this is everything I got from the Lego store, so I got the Disney train, hopefully I can get that for a cheaper price during lockdown, during uh, Black Friday, get the promo, sell it and I can also use my VIP points, I've got about £100 in VIP points um, and then I'll just return this, I've also got a £50 voucher as well that I'm going to put towards that, so yeah, hopefully do that during lockdown. Um, I also got this for investment purposes. Um, and that made me qualify to get the keyring, which is tiny but worth a bit. So figured I'd get that. That was just retail, 120 pounds. Um, if I can sell that for like 30, that makes that 90. Good deal. Um, I'm due to retire soon as well. Um, and then I got the wreaths as uh, Christmas presents for people. But yeah, it's a uh, pretty good haul. Two poly bags. That wasn't really caring about. I could have like split it, so I did them in one transaction that in one transaction and that in one transaction but it didn't really matter because I've got already two of the hidden side poly bags I think I've got three or four of them now I think this is my fourth one they're not worth anything so yeah it just didn't didn't seem worth splitting it all up um, but the main thing I wanted was the hand solo keychain for that so that was just five first battle pack from Argos the other day but yeah that was my uh, spontaneous expensive Lego haul I forgot to say that I built JB Submarine awful set <laughs> possibly the worst hidden inside set um the submarine is like nothing this like moves a little bit but um yeah for the most part really not impressed but it was one of the vehicles so yeah hey ho <laughs> so i think my computer was starting to crash um which is a bit annoying but uh it's exporting the vlog from a couple of weeks ago when i went to a couple of lego stores up in london um, so yeah, I was hoping to have that all exported, but don't know whether to restart the computer and then restart the export for my movie or to leave it to the morning and hopefully it's uploaded. But uh, I got the PlayStation set up and I'm recapping on Mando, just about to watch season one, episode six. Um, probably watch this one and then I can watch the last two episodes tomorrow and catch up with the two from season two. So yeah, don't know what to do about the computer though. I think I'll probably chance it and leave it to the morning, but we shall see. Okay, so we've got 20 more packs of these cards, and we've got 21 cards left. I'll be opening 80 cards today, so hopefully we get nearer uh, nearer to completing this this collection. I don't know how many weeks I've been doing this for now, but um, I've still got packs to do for another like three weeks, maybe. So I might not. I might be able to do this without trades. So. Yeah, I will uh, go through these packs and then show you guys all the new ones. So I've opened the 20 packs and here are all 80 cards. Now I will go through and check which ones, see which ones are new. Um, I think there was a couple in there that I didn't recognise, so yeah, hopefully we've, uh, we've ticked some more off the list. But I'll go through that and then show you guys all the new cards. So after going through the checklist, I realized after last week's, I didn't uh, check off some of the cards. So I thought I needed 21. Actually, I needed 13. Um, and I got six new cards. So I got the Fright Night. I got the Piece of Cake. I got the Flying Warrior, which looks like an awesome minifigure. That's, that's so cool. I got the Athlete. That's nice. Uh, the Chocolate Box. And the Station Barista. So, six more cards. Um, and I only need seven cards now to get, it fit, uh, to get it finished. And I've got about 40 packs left. So hopefully I can do it uh, in the next two weeks without, uh, without having to trade. But if not, then I will be on to some people uh, to uh, see if I can get the last few cards I need. But yeah, really, really near the end now, which is really, really cool. It's very dark because Greg said I look really pale, so I moved my light really far back. <laughs> Another week of London calling. 
on the panel now. Uh, we've got Kathy Con Lego, B Fab, Cy Connor, Family Bricks, Celebrate Builder, Titanium J, and of course Greg. A lot of fun. Got my drink. I'm not really being very productive. I was I had some things I wanted to try and uh, get done rustled in on the stream, but we're like two hours in and I can't bother to start anything, so I think I'm just gonna plow through some uh, some jam tarts and hang out and chat with all these cool people. So yeah, I've got a bit to do tonight though, so gonna be productive after the stream, I promise. I've had a really lazy morning. <laughs> I actually fell asleep when I put the Mandalorian on the other night, so I've caught up with season one, all uh, all wrapped up with that, um, and I feel like I should go and do something else rather than just sit and watch the first two episodes of season two, but I think I'm probably going to do that. I've got all the uh, pieces I'm going to put in the Disney bottles, they're all in there, um, and there's a couple of other little things I can do while I'm watching, so I'm going to try to be semi-productive while I watch Mando season two, but I'm really looking forward to seeing it, and I'm glad I've all caught up with season one, so... Yeah, that's probably what I do. So I've got all my bottles done, but I mean, this is hours and hours after I did my last log for this. Um, I've just been super unproductive, just watching loads of live streams and stuff. But all the bottles are pretty much filled. I've got two more really to fill. Um, I need another like 200, 220 of these dark brown um, modified bricks to fill that up. So don't know whether I'll use those or just get a completely different colour. Um, also, these guns are going to fill it, so... I don't need any more guns than these so there's no point me buying more guns to fill that so I'll probably just get some different pieces. I might get a load of 1x1 one one round white tiles because I'm going to make loads more of these I've decided. <laughs> I'm going to make loads of different clone troopers so that's going to be cool and it just makes sense then to have the bottles filled up um, and have those parts ready. Um, I did work on logging some of my investment sets. I think instead of doing investment videos by theme I'm just going to do an annual video of showing you guys all the sets that I've invested in that year because um, I think that'll be a lot more fun so don't know if I'll get that out this side of Christmas or uh, if I would do like 2020s investments at the beginning of 2021 because there's going to be Black Friday um, and yeah some sales probably in and around Christmas that I might pick up some stuff so yeah that'll probably come early next year um, I still want to do a backlog video as well because I've got quite a bit in my backlog um, so I might get that one in before Christmas as well but yeah generally unproductive day but tomorrow new day I'll try again so I wake up late again and uh, just generally had a really lazy day watching streams and stuff I've got CC stream on now I've got a list of things to do I'm gonna plow through as many of these as I can before this evening I was gonna do a live stream um, building something but I don't think I'm gonna have time to I still want to try build maybe one of the Toy Story sets or the last Toy Story 4 set I've got or even the Supernatural race car so yeah we'll see how I get on um, but I've got to move the desk out and a load of other things I just want to get done and get sorted tonight um, and start next week afresh but uh, yeah let's see what I can get done Okay, so I forgot to do a little entry before that, but yeah, ended up streaming, built the Toy Story Mania set. I keep calling it the Toy Story Mania because that's the ride in Disney, but it's not Toy Story Mania, it's the carnival set. Um, but this is actually pretty cool, some pretty cool play features on there. Um, the printed tile on the top of that's really cool, I really like it. I um, only really wanted this set because of the two figures that I need, it's like Bunny and Birdie or Bunny and Ducky, something like that, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I watched Toy Story 4, but yeah, these carts are pretty cool. Some fun playability in it, but yeah, mainly just wanted it for the figures. Um, just got Tyler Lego Eyes stream on. Um, managed to get the desk out of here, which is good. But the rest of the room, it's not too tidy, it's not too bad. But um, yeah, a few bits I still need to sort out, but I'll probably start in the morning because it's quite late now. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun stream and uh, glad to have another one of these Toy Story sets built. Thanks for watching this week's Tech Tuesday. Make sure you leave a comment, give a like or a dislike, whatever you fancy. I'm Thomas, this is Tech Productions. Thanks guys, see you next time. Oh, before you go, if you enjoyed this video, how about clicking that subscribe button right here? Catch last week's episode of Tech Tuesday up there, or if you fancy something different, try this one. See you next time.